Hello. In this video, we'll use the new OpenShift launcher to generate code by using one of the supported runtimes under Red Hat OpenShift application runtime technologies that you're seeing here. For the first example, we'll generate a Spring Boot application. Let's start by launching our project. The first step is to select whether you want to automatically deploy your application on OpenShift or if you want to download the code and build it locally. I'll select build and deploy online. My launcher is currently running on an OpenShift environment and I have pre-configured the launcher to be able to launch applications on my OpenShift cluster. In the next step, we'll choose whether we'll create a new application or deploy an example application. I'll choose to create a new application. The launcher is now able to generate a multi-tiered application. You can generate front-end as well as back-end runtime. For this simple first example, I'm going to ignore the front-end. I'll just jump onto the back-end code. For the back-end code, I'm choosing Spring Boot as my application runtime. The other choices available are Node.js, Thontail, Vertex for React applications. In the next step, we'll choose the type of application code to generate. Uh, we have currently two choices here. One is a HTTP API. The other one is a relational persistence CRUD application. I'll choose the CRUD application for our needs. My launcher is connected to my GitHub account. So when I generate this code, the launcher will automatically go and create a repository on my GitHub. I can choose a name for my application. For now, I'll leave the name as what is generated. So this is a summary of what I've selected so far. We have the application name, the Maven artifact that it generates, the other Maven details like version and the group ID. For example, I can change the company name here to app, and I'll set up the application now. As you can see, the first stage is it is generating code and adding that to the Git repository. Next, it goes and deploys that application onto my OpenShift cluster and it provides me some instructions on what the next steps are. As you can see, the code has been added to my GitHub and it gave me instructions on how to clone the code, make changes and commit and push. It also deployed this application on my OpenShift cluster. Now, if I look at the project in which the app got deployed, it, it named it same as the repository name. There is a build that is in progress. As you can see, it is running a source to image build. The app has also deployed a database and this is a PostgreSQL database. This build will take a couple of minutes to run. I'll pause the video and come back when it is ready. You can see that the container image is now built and pushed into the registry. And now it is trying to deploy the Spring Boot application. The pod is getting ready. And the application is now running. Let's click on the URL for the application. And this is the sample app. If I say hello world, it responds with hello world. Now this application also has a CRUD app, which is accessible at this URL. It provides a fruit list. Let us add a new fruit here and set the quantity and the fruit got added. The code has been added, added to the Git repo. So this is the starter code that we can make changes to and edit this to build our own application as needed. So that was a quick overview of using the launcher to generate code for starting off your cloud native applications. Thanks a lot for watching.